guys, I'm CFC Alex and welcome to the channel. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing. I massively appreciate it. Also, if you like contents like these, give it a like too. Now, I do apologize for the lighting. I don't know what's going on. You know, normally when it comes to photos, the lighting seems to be much brighter, just not for videos. Anyways, in terms of the lineup, I am a little bit surprised we're not going with the false nine tonight, but I am definitely happy that we are not. So, in terms of the lineup, it's Kepa and Goal, back for Aspili Puerta, Rudiger, David Luiz, and Emerson. Finally, Emerson is starting in, in that left back position, you know, for big games because we really need him. So the midfield three is Jorginho, Kante and Barkley. I think given how he performed against Arsenal and how he tried to create chances, I do think it is, you know, it is good to have him in there. Then afterwards, the front three is going to be Pedro, Giroud and Hazard. But anyways, this is going to be a very interesting game. Because of the lineup of uh, Spurs, I'll put that up on screen right now. But I have to say, given their lineup, I would say we could go for a 2-1 win. Nah. And then it goes to penalties and we win that game. Nah. I do feel as though Spurs will score. I don't know when, but we'll see about that. Um, and I'm predicting Hazard to score and make an assist. Let's see if I'm right there. Nah. Anyways, I am going to head inside the stadium. Has been cross it, cross it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good try. That was a good try. Come on, Chelsea. Oh my God! What a shot! What a shot! Oh my God! Sarri has put him in the right position. At the beginning of the season, I doubted that position for him. But let's be honest, at Leicester, he was a box-to-box -box midfielder. At Chelsea, it kind of felt like he was a box-to-box -box midfielder, but having a little bit of that defensive anchor in him. And, you know, he's not a holding midfielder like a lot of people claim he is. So, you know, I really do think it's good for him that he's you know, offering something different to this team. But yeah, we'll see how the second half goes. Well, they've scored. Come on, it's true. I did say 2-1 in terms of the prediction, so... Honestly, the fact that Kante got booked for that, I mean, 
I've seen Spurs players do something similar. Oh, oh. Maybe slightly worse. Oh, oh, and Kante gets booked. You know, it's, it's disappointing. It really is because this referee is really showing his Spurs bias. It's disappointing. <sighs> but look, we can still win this. We get one more goal, we keep it, we can win, we can go through. We just need to do so. Alright, still 2 1. still have a chance so if basically we don't score and they don't score either it goes straight to penalties well it seems like another player added to the injury list Sissoko after coming back from injury seems like he's gonna injured again I mean look I feel bad for the poor guy but at the same time he's a Spurs player so he shouldn't really care that much uh, He's played well today. Let's see what Kovacic can offer. Alright, so at the 118 minutes, it's well, technically full time here. It's Chelsea to Tottenham 1. As I predicted, has, I predicted how to score. I predicted that we would go on penalties. Let's see if we can win it. But I think we're going to win, yeah. Come on, Chelsea. Prove me right. Prove me right. Let's go to the final. First one scored by Christian Eriksen. Yes! 1-1. William scores. Oh! Nearly. Well, it's 2-1 to Spurs. Chelsea. Let's score.